Hey everyone, this is the second part of the borders tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go from just learning about these standard borders and then move on to building borders and using them to help style our spreadsheets. As you can see, uh, these borders here help uh, guide the eye to the important pieces of information on our spreadsheet. So let's get started. Starting from the outside in, I created a larger border and then worked on all the smaller aspects, slowly reducing into this, to the smaller parts as I go. This is the final result. Let's see if we can replicate this in our demo on this demo tab here. So here you can see that I don't have any borders in at the moment. Our first step is to create that larger border you can see in the examples tab. So clicking, so I'm going to hold this, I'm going to hold the shift key down and go to the end of the range of data, which is this K18, and that will select that range. Now, in the example, you can see this is, you probably can't see the difference, but this is a slightly off black. So I'm going to change that to an off black for an outer border. So I go up to my borders, select my color, which is this one here. So dark gray four. And I'm going to change the thickness to this one. And I'm going to go with outer border. There we go. Looks cool. All right, so what's our next step? Probably the next step is to have a look at our averages uh, separation here because uh, it's, this is probably one of the most important parts of this particular sheet and it really draws the eye down into the averages um, if we put this thick border above it in that, uh, that dark grey 4. So let's do that. So I'm going to select the averages from A18 across to K18, holding shift down again, go back to my borders. This time I don't want the same thickness as the outer border, so I'm going to change that to that middle fit thickness and I'm going to use this bottom border oh sorry I'm going to use this top border because it's the top border of this range here it won't actually be the top of the entire um, sheet so let's go back and we'll use top border and that's been inserted here okay let's go back to our example see what we need to do next okay let's work on our headers now, in this example, we've changed things slightly by color to help uh, differentiate between the percentages correct and the results. Starting off first, let's, uh, let's run a border for our ID cell. And you can see this one is merged between A2 to A3. So any merged cells will just encompass the entire merged portion of those two cells. So we want something going on the right hand side and something going on the bottom, but we don't want it to affect the top. Now I think if we go back to the example, yeah. So this example, there's there's a uh, dark green along the A, uh, column A, column B as well. So let's uh, skip that one out as two. So let's just do the bottom, which is going to be the same gray. So back to borders. And let's make this just a standard line and bottom border. Great. All right, again, so we've got our results range. These are in dark green, these lines. And we want a just a single line below the results header and below the, the quiz headers as well. So let's put that in. Back to our demo. I'll hold that down, hold shift down and select the next range. And we're going to go to our borders. I'm going to change the color to our dark green here. And then we want the bottom border and we want the horizontal borders which are the middle ones so it shouldn't affect the top one so let's off, click off that so we can double check yeah that looks good okay so let's do that again for our percentages correct and our quizzes so shift down to here and click and go back to our borders and dark blue this time dark blue two and click bottom border and horizontal borders and we'll click off that so we can check. Yeah, it looks good. All right, back to our example. So in our example, we've got these delineator uh, vertical lines that are quite thick to help separate the results from the percentage correct. One's, the first one's in green, so it sort of leads your eye onto that next, uh, next section from the ID column, and then the next one's in blue. So let's put those in next. So back to our demo. We're going to select this results column and control shift all the way down to the bottom with the averages. Now, as you can see, the results uh, is merged all the way across to F2, 
so that will select the entire range but don't worry we can only we can also just select the left hand side here so let's go back to our border all right so this is a dark green so we need to change the color to dark green and then we need to change the thickness to a medium thickness and we're going to go left border click and that's our dark green there let's do the same for our blue one click all the way shift and click all the way down to the bottom let's go back to our border change the color dark blue 2 and then left border okay so it's starting it's getting quite close now at this stage we might uh, take away these helpful grid lines so we can see a bit better what we're inserting uh, so we go to view and uncheck the grid lines and you can see now uh, what dashes we can insert a little bit easier let's go back to our example to see what to do next all right so probably the next step for me would be to do these totals in these vertical lines so between uh, column E and F and J and K so let's go back to here I'm going to click on this average hold shift down to here this is one approach we can try another in a moment go to borders and we've got dark green again so click on dark green uh, let's change the thickness to just a small line and this time we're just going to go for vertical borders the middle one okay great so that's a nice dark green color let's go back to example and double check all right so another thing we can do while we're here is we've got this dashed line on the left hand side so let's go back to our demo and change this to uh, dashed and let's do the left border now also back in our example we've got dashes going below the average um, all the way down to just above uh, below the header all the way down to the, that footer average so let's go back to our demo and let's click off that and actually go and hold shift down to F17 and back to our borders and change to this dash here oh we're sorry we've still got the dash here from previously now this time we just want the horizontal borders but not the top or the bottom one so let's click on that now great okay so our last little bit here is let's go back to our example you can see a very pale um, dashed area for the data from each individual ID um, this I, I find if you put too many uh, too many dark borders in there it becomes quite distracting but a light border it helps guide the eye across so let's put a light border in here you can see it starts in the header and just finishes just above the footer so let's go back here and we'll select the header this quiz one and go all the way down to D 17 holding shift and click and then go to our borders and let's change the color now to something quite a bit lighter I could probably make it light green and we've still got the dashes there now we only want the we want both the vertical inner lines and the horizontal inner lines so the vertical ones going down from here and each one of these horizontal ones for each row so what we can do now is click this inner borders and click and that should update it however we've come into a bit of a problem we've overwritten some of our our previous work with this dark uh, green line so let's fix that up by hitting shift and down to here and let's go back to our borders change the color back to this dark green again and bottom I'll oh, change this to a single line and go bottom border and now it's back to normal so you can see sometimes it overwrites things and you have to be uh, be careful uh, with what you select first before you continue let's move over to the uh, percentages correct in the dark blue let's select uh, from column J3 down to K17 let's go up to our borders we want that middle single line so let's change that line to a single line uh, we've got our color changed here already to the dark blue 2 and then the vertical border clicked here okay so we want also the left border so we're going to change that but if we change that now um, because that's a dotted line and we click dotted this middle one will also change to dotted as well so let's click off that again hold shift and down and then we can go to our borders and our dotted line left border done 
Okay, let's make these ones lighter again. So this time we'll try not to make the mistake we made before with overriding this header line and hold this G4 all the way down to I17 and go to our border. Let's change this to a light blue and change, we've got it to dotted already, that's great. And now we'll just go inner borders, which will do the horizontal and vertical. Okay, as you can see, it didn't change this around. We didn't make the mistake like we did last time. Let's now update this small section, hold down shift to I3. And then we just want vertical borders. Okay. One final thing we need to tidy up is just down at the bottom here along the averages row. Almost missed it before we finished up this tutorial. Uh, let's have a look down here. Um, first we need a straight, small straight line on the left here. So let's uh, make sure, let's go to our borders, go to the darker color. Let's use the left border here. Let's make sure it's a small single line and click. Let's tidy that one up. And this one here is a dotted on dark. Let's go to the borders again. Dotted line, left border, click. Cool, and these ones are lighter color. So hold down shift, click across to I18. Uh, let's go back to our borders, change the color to light. And then we want dotted, already got that. And we just want the vertical borders in between. Okay, it looks tidy now. And let's finish up over here with the green and change the border to light green. We've already got it dotted and just those bits in between. So as you can see now, we've got, uh, we're focusing now on the averages. Um, the eye is really drawn down to those. And then the secondary location, the eye is drawn to is those, uh, the, the averages for each individual quiz for the user and their totals. And then uh, finally, you can see the lighter shaded areas for each grade for each quiz for the students. Okay, that uh, wraps it up for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.